Hey guys, I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Today we're here to talk about the 18-foot TP with Vestible from the Sportsman's Guide. We're going to go over this real quick, the first impressions review. Uh, someone's going to say that I'm not hardcore enough because for my, you know, trial period, I set it up in my yard instead of in the uh, frozen Arctic tundra. But, uh, Yes, set it up in the yard to see how everything works, and I'm glad I did because we found some issues. All right, we're going to do this real quick here. So 18 foot at the base, almost 10 feet at the top, and when setting this thing up, one of the first things that happened is this piece here broke. You know, no stress, no high winds. I wasn't doing anything crazy. It wasn't raining. I wasn't in a hurry and uh, immediate failure. The whole tent is held together by these ultra, ultra cheap plastic rings, and that one was defective. So, you know, that's a quick strike number one. Um, the reason that I bought this tent was for a affordable, um, easy family camping environment tent. So this isn't meant to be my hardcore tent or anything like that, although it will see some decent use uh, hunting deer this season. All right, we're going to open this up. Have I been zoomed in this whole time? Nope, I'm good. All right, big old vestibule. Vestibule, pretty cool. Comes with a bunch of stakes, fits into a little bag. Uh, I will say that every... This thing's like 200 bucks, I think. I'll put an exact amount in the description box below. But every part of this thing feels ultra cheap. Um, which, uh, not a complaint. This almost feels like a garbage bag material or a sandbag material. This woven together material here. But uh, we've had some rainy days and stuff. We haven't uh, had any water on the inside. I am six foot two, standing comfortably out to the edge here. We will comfortably be able to fit um, our, walk you out of here, uh, our two person cot, our um, pack and play for my son, and in the future, many more children, as well as a lot of gear and probably dogs too. The vestibule's nice. Um, I did hear some part of the tent ripping for some reason while setting it up, while I was putting the vestibule up, putting these uh, um, supports up. So first impressions review, it is a lot of tent for the money, but uh, I would not hope that anybody would buy this expecting it to be their bug out tent or their hardcore tent or their real hunting tent or anything like that, I think you'd probably be disappointed. I am going to contact uh, the Sportsman's Warehouse about this little piece here breaking. Luckily, I, as you could see and as I already did, that little piece is easily repairable with your typical metal split ring, which all of these will probably need to be swapped out. Or when I take this camping, I probably need to bring about 10 of those along with me. And they're cheap and indestructible, so that's not a difficult thing to do. I'll let you guys know how this tent holds up after our big camping trip, and we're going to do some family camping coming up this fall as well. This tent's actually going to get quite a bit of use, and in my opinion, if I can take this tent out on 20 or 30 trips, I have gotten my money out of it. And by being a member of the Sportsman's Warehouse, I was able to pay for this tent in four interest-free payments. That's pretty huge. So, um, anyways... Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This channel is not funded through any kind of AdSense YouTube communist BS. It's funded through sales at my website, beachandtactical.com, where I sell uh, handmade survival and tactical gear. Also my Patreon and also my Amazon store, where I list stuff that I've personally used, reviewed, approve of and most of it I still own and continue to use. So uh, check those out in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm excited to give her a go and I hope that you have a blessed day.